Well, uh, let's go see how Bing Crosley's doing. You know, I, I got to thinking, I was down in Georgia and there's a lot of really good deals on antique cars and trucks. I got to thinking I could sell the Crosley and take the money and go down to Georgia and buy me like a 65, 65 Chevy pickup, something like that. Just a little gross, little something to haul some lumber with and tinker around on. But then I got to think, well, you know, my, my old Dodge truck's a good looking truck. And it belonged to my dad. We've had it since it's almost new, between me and him. And I'm thinking maybe I'll just drive it down there. And uh, if I did sell one of my other antique cars, I'd just put the money into it. Give it a new paint job and freshen it up and all. That'd be a good thing to do to it. Don't you think? Okay. We kicked the idea around a little bit about taking the rat rod down to Georgia, but I don't think the Georgia laws would let me drive it on the road down there. Open fenders and open exhaust pipes. I can drive it up here in Maine because they're, they're a little bit more flexible about their hot rod rules here. It's kind of nice. And a lot of things, a lot of rules, they, surprisingly, are a little more flexible on up here. Uh, go figure. All right. Y'all try not to fall in the motor when I start it. By the way, the biggest problem with this thing is the flywheel bad, so it might not turn over right away. And that's why I need to pull the motor out. I need to rework that flywheel here because it's warped. And the way it sits, uh, I took the trot the key in the house. It's warped so that sometimes the starter doesn't engage the flywheel right. And it makes a big awful grinding kind of noise. Let me go get that, that key. All right, let's see what happens. If y'all fall down in there, and just don't grab any belts or anything before I fish you out, okay? Okay. Boy, howdy, she fired right up. Okay. 